Welcome back everybody to the Zebra Fed channel. Today we're doing a speculation video. I'm your host Luke. I'm here with Ryan and Matt. And today, so, you know, what are we speculating guys? The Flash. Cyborg. And Cyborg. Yeah. <laughs> the Flash and Cyborg pairing uh, pairing up movie, the duo uh, that everybody wants to see, hopefully. What would you like to see in the Flash movie? Honestly, uh, I would like to see a more in-depth uh, sort of background. Because right now, the whole storyline for him is sort of scattered everywhere for me because usually he already has started out as a C CSI, but in the previous movie for Justice League, you saw him slam the acceptance letter. If you yeah, were. right. He awesome. wasn't, he, he just gotten accepted into CSI and not you know, anything else. He was just like getting in, he was getting his foot into the door. In the TV show, Grant Gustin, he was already in the lab and, and the lightning yeah. hit and he was already working. He was here, yeah. that was already, uh, that was already. Now thing. this you know, begs the question on how did he, you know, get his powers in this time? There's always a new twist. It's never, you right. know, well, what we see. They'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll expound on that. Uh, in, um, in the Zack Snyder's Justice League, which is releasing in 2021, uh, you're going to see Iris West. There's that one scene where he's like, I'm going through the glass. And uh, he's going to go outside and, you know, save her from like some horrific, crazy accident. It reminds me of Spider-Man 2 when Doc Ock like threw this car and, and they were like falling through the wreckage and all that. I was like, that's so similar. Hopefully it doesn't play out that way. <laughs> Maybe that's where they took inspiration. I don't know. We'll find out. But hopefully, yeah. I just I, I'm not liking the quirky Flash on how they're making it like Tom Holland. The one thing that I liked about the Flash, he was standing in line, and I don't know if this was actually something that that uh, Zach shot or if it was something new. But I liked when he drew on the guy's face. Oh yeah. And I was like, that was different than any other interpretation. You know, like Quicksilver, that was different from the Barry Allen on, on the CW. That was different from yeah uh, anything else that we've seen before that that particular scene was uh, was executed on screen. So I like that, I thought that was funny, um, but maybe it was something that was ad-libbed, I don't know, maybe it was something that Zach shot, it would, it'd be cool to still keep that in in the uh, in the new one, if that is in fact something that Zach shot, because he's not gonna keep anything that Joss, uh, Joss had. I, well, I, maybe no matter it was what. Zach, because that, that didn't seem like quirky behavior. Like on how it just- It didn't seem how... like quirky behavior, it yeah. didn't seem like he was being awkward, it, it seemed like he yeah. was, and he, he was he was playing with his powers. Yeah, you know, so that that might be something. I mean, you know, as as uh, as we know, Sax got ten percent in the film. Yeah. So ten percent of what's in Justice League is is uh, is Zach. So yeah. personally, I'm not really a fan of the whole quirkiness. I'm a bigger fan of the CW version with you know Grant Gustin. It's like everything is sort of happening at once. Everything's in like crisis mode instead of just goofing around 24 seven while having these powers. Yeah, but the, the thing that I don't like, but it's a TV show, is just all the drama. I, yeah. I'd love to see like, cause I, I liked what the animated universe did with Flash and how serious he was and how analytical he was. With that one, he's more whiny to me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, is he's definitely, just, he's just, definitely it's, whiny. It's not like, like Skywalker. he's not the funny kind of- Yeah, he's like, I'm just, I'm not fast enough. Yeah, yeah, he's never fast enough. It's just. <laughs> I, I, he should be like a mix of like what, comical, how, but how like like him and how I, I can't see yeah yeah Barry yeah, Allen bouncing off Barry Allen different yeah because it's, or, it's or usually Barry and and Hal kind of bouncing off of each other yeah yeah Hal's a straight yeah. man and, and Barry's just sort of like you know that that's a great off. duo with, with Flash and Cyborg I mean it'd be cool to see but I'd rather see Flash and Hal Jordan yeah because that, I mean, that, that that's Cyborg a great Cyborg just seems to be I don't know better paired with like you know maybe Superman or maybe or Blue Beetle that'd be really cool yeah because they have similar yeah like, it, it, it would, yes it, actually that would be very interesting to have uh, Jaime with uh, with Victor yeah okay that's what we're going with. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's that, actually a pretty good idea, but yeah. I mean, uh, we're not going to get that. Yeah, unfortunately. But, uh, I mean, but I mean, I don't know if, if this Flash movie is actually going to see the light of day yet. And considering you how know? many times it's been pushed. Back. Right, right. I mean, you know, Zemeckis was attached. This this other guy, the director of It, is attached. The writers of Spider-Man Homecoming, they were writing The Flash. They got, you know, let go. Uh, creative differences or whatever, and then the the, the girl that wrote Birds of Prey, Sporky. which was a phenomenal film that reached more than two billion dollars at the box office because it was such a a landmark film. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, she wrote that. She also wrote Bumblebee, which everybody's like, "Oh, Bumblebee!" But it's only because it was a cute movie, and and like I've always said, Cybertron scenes were the best thing. A part and they had of that nothing movie. to do with with her. Yeah, that was all the director, and uh, and it was it was that was a great sequence. It's safe to say the movies were both you know they were so so they weren't they weren't. You know, fantastic. I want to know the charts that they were, Warner Brothers is looking at when, yeah. when it comes to her with the track record. <laughs> well, I mean, for Bumblebee, it was more of an, an, an ET extraterrestrial, you know, movie. I've yeah. seen that before. You know, where the, the child is hiding the the alien and and uh, they're trying to find him and you know whatever. Yeah. It's just I've seen that before in a different uh, different medium. So uh, I'm just I'm not excited for this writer to be on board because she doesn't have a, a long history of, of writing. I think this is going to be her sixth film. Um, I'm okay with her trying to write a Birds of Prey movie because nobody cares about the Birds of Prey. I'm okay with with her even writing a Batgirl movie because it's not a Batman movie. I'd have a hard, I'd have a big problem if she was the one that was writing Batman and like you know hey 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 Ben Affleck we have a script for a screenplay from you know Christina Hudson here's your Batman story uh no no please no and so the Flash is another tent pole he's part of the uh, the 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 first tier echelon of Justice League I, I don't want to see somebody who you know the same thing with with Birds of Prey you know they put a director on there that only had a couple films under her belt yeah and uh, and they had to come in and and bring somebody else in to to you know do the action sequences because. That wasn't her forte, and, and she had you know little experience with that. I, I can see what you mean for like such a course, major right. movie, such as The Flash. How like because to be honest, I was watching Birds of Prey, and it all looked like it was just it was slop. Fire. Yeah, it was dumpster fire. It was slop. You know, it was slop. It was horribly written. Uh, Not only scenes, that, but they, scenes were just jumping from one. I mean, into the whole another. story was was a, a little girl that stole a diamond that had to prove it out. <laughs> And, and and that's 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 it. And then you had, you know, Hugh McGregor that had that one good scene with the girl on the, you know, making the yeah. girl dance on the table, which was very creepy. And and that was kind of it. That was like, it was like, ooh, okay, and then it's going to... It's exploded. Done. It's done. Yeah, yeah. He, got, he got exploded. So. That's it. Great character gone. We yeah. Just, we kill characters. <laughs> so if you'd like to check out a review of Birds of Prey, uh, check out in the link below. We'll put a uh, link in the description to that review. Moving on, Ezra Miller. How do you guys feel about Ezra Miller returning as The Flash? I'm cool with him returning. Just we need to take the character into a different direction. Yeah, we, he just. He just I, uh, we need to see what Zach had in store for him. I was. I was. If interested. you look at Suicide Squad, yeah, yeah Suicide one Squad and BVS with Boomerang with him with, the, with his future. Well, I didn't. I, 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 oh, I was no, 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 no. Okay, and so, then, so and the then part of BVS that, that I did have an issue with what? was was the, the the convenience store scene. What? It was just goofy. It was convenient. <laughs> it was goofy. He had, he had long hair. He looked like he was like I don't know. I don't know. Like grunge or or like. Yeah, he, was, like he, he didn't have a job. He that's... just got the job. <laughs> he just got the job. And just... It just you know, it took him that long to get a yeah. job. Yeah, that sucks. I don't like that. I don't know. It, it just it felt weird. It didn't, look like, already it didn't feel that. like Barry. The Barry that we saw that was you know visiting um, could rip it, the the father. I forgot the father's name. That's the fan. Hey, yeah. <laughs> what's what's his the name? father's name? <laughs> Since you're such a uh, Flash fan. I, I, Barry's dad. I know. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Allen? Original Flash. Mr. Allen. Mr. Allen. So, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I like their interaction. It seemed like there was something very deep there. You know, you know, he's, he's, you know he had a lot on his shoulders. Yeah. I, I had and no problem with seeing... That version of Henry Allen. Henry! Yeah. Holy <laughs> crap, he came through! <laughs> this just in, folks. Mr. Allen is now Henry Allen. Thank you, Mr. Flash fan. <laughs> I knew there was a reason why I was going to be in this stream. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, villains. What villain would you want to see in the first Flash movie? The reverse Flash yeah, has to yeah. be in it. He has to, he and, has to be the first and villain. He, and, and from what I've heard... Is that they might gender swap the reverse flash, but that doesn't make any sense to me because the reverse flash is supposed to try to emulate uh, yeah. Barry and try to pretend he, he was a fan, to be Barry, he was a fanatic. Barry, and sort of you know Eobard was supposed to have, like you know in his century sort of like you know portrayed the Flash and you know just sort of took on the oh, persona. Man. And it's all just that. it's downhill yeah. from here. But the I mean, direct if, shot if that's at the, the comics because it's always been a it, male. Playing. It doesn't. Well, I mean, it, I know, but, it doesn't matter so much that you know they they bring like in the CW. But, they change, but that's them trying to change they, an entire character 
Besides, right, right, right. besides like, I just wouldn't race. mind if the turtle was yeah. a female. You just you killed know, my whole yeah. vibe. I, said, <laughs> to be I wouldn't mind if, if like, you know, a, a, a different character, you know, was... was I'm okay with like, ch- uh, changing like the that. ethnicity, but... Well, the ethnicity, I mean, you know, the only... That's not, that's not a major problem, but... No, it's, it's, it's... I like uh, original characters, like, um... Like when when, uh, when they were talking to or Michael B. Jordan, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. yeah, for the win, and they they were like, "Hey, well, would you like to take on this, you know, Kal El?" And he was like, "No." There's another Superman character in another universe that I would like to take on, and I think, yeah, you know, uh, and, yeah, yeah. And another he, version of Superman. I think. It's, it's a different I, version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and there's, a, there's version. like, a, there's like an that. Asian version of Superman, you know, yeah. another multiverse or whatever, which I'm, I'm cool with seeing that too. I mean, I'm cool with exploring the multiverse. Yeah, I, I, and yeah. I would love to see that. I'd like to see, you know, later on down the line, maybe they bring in Michael B. Jordan or maybe with him. Make Ultraman. Ultraman? Ultraman. Yeah, that would, that would be, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, who do you think? Other, I, th- I think Reverse Flash should be there just to kill his mom and then leave, and we don't see the Reverse. Yeah, Flash yeah, yeah. I think you should sprinkle another, him in. I don't. And want then, like, the I don't want Flashpoint movie. to be the first yeah. Flash movie we get. I think yeah, yeah. I think we should sprinkle him in. Isn't that and just then he should be say, in the third film? You know, we give up. We want to restart the entire DC universe. But back, back to my question. Clean slate. Yeah. Who would you want to see in the first film? The first villain. What villain? Yeah. The main villain. Do your main villain. The main villain. Gorilla Girl. No. <laughs> the main villain. Who, who who could you see they bring to progress the story? God, I mean, they already have Captain Cold. I right? honestly, about Captain Cold? I would have said the, yeah, the Rogue Gallery. Yeah, pretty, yeah, I would love the Rogue Gallery. Yeah, I'd love to see him sort of build that. Love up. to see sort the top. Of, sort of start <laughs> that, you know. <laughs> Weather Wizard. Start, start Weather with, Wizard, yeah. Start legit. with like three of the members and then start to incorporate throughout the movie maybe a little bit more recruiting yeah yeah recruiting. kind of like the injustice society yeah <laughs> oh you're talking about star girl which we have reviews for as well <laughs> well not only that but uh or the, or the injustice league for lex's little yeah know, get together which won't be in i don't think that'll be in or maybe the, abracadabra uh, that'd be cool to see yeah abracadabra but he doesn't really have this huge story arc that you can play off of because he's sort of a one-off character who's that Ab- you talking about abracadabra, abracadabra? Yeah. yes he doesn't doesn't have that large of a um, in-depth storyline that you can really dive into to write a whole movie about, let alone make I'm him sure like a have, solo villain. Right, but I'm sure that they have a lot of lore, you know, a lot of you know uh, story that they can pull from, and then create something new for for us that we've never seen or heard before. What I was so I mean, I wouldn't discount him. It's like I would sprinkle like you know Captain Cold, Heat Wave, and then have it to where like an opening scene is like the Rogues versus Flash, but they obviously get defeated, yeah. and then you go into something like Reverse Flash. Sure. And then like like Flashpoint Paradox. I think that that would be really cool. Yeah, it'd be cool. It'd be cool. Um, I mean, but my my two favorite villains for Flash are Zoom and uh, and Reverse Flash. Yeah. Let's see. And and if they bring in Cyborg to the Flash movie, what do you what do you see them doing together? You know, because Cyborg. I feel like he's going to be mainly like a. It's going to be a comedic aspect. That's why they're going to sort of add him in, so they can sort of bring the light heart. You know, kind of feeling to the movie itself. Besides it just being, well, what would be like. Well, I, I agree with the lightheartedness because they they hinted yeah. at it in Justice League with the whole but graveyard thing. You're talking about that's Justice League. That's not Zack Snyder. Well, Ray, that wasn't his still scene. Raised the heart of the movie, so I'm assuming him and Flash are going to have. Ray, yeah, like, they, they have to have some sort has, of relationship. I mean, I don't know how different that relationship's going to yeah, be. Yeah, and that's that's why it's really it's fun, but it's also hard to speculate because we got an alternate version. Of their friendship, yeah, and so the multiverse. We don't even know how their friendship actually is. <laughs> the multiverse it, it, does exist. This confirms it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's, it's very interesting. So um, well, put your thoughts in what you think the the, the Flash is going to bring us. Um, hopefully, they're going to get maybe a, a green light sometime in the future. We don't know, but we'll uh, we'll yeah, definitely find out. Because right now, the movie is set to be in 2022. So, and I don't know that, if that's going to happen. That might get honestly. It's been pushed back so many times. I it's been be changing hands for the longest. Keep pushing it and back. Now that Zach is, is back on, <laughs> I, I don't know if if uh, the, the the screenplay that uh, Christina was was working on is any good or or fits in with with his style, his universe. Yeah. So we shall see. But um, yeah, man. Thanks. Uh, thanks for watching and um, subscribe. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the video. 
Mm-hmm. Comment down below any thoughts you think is going to happen with Flash or... And hit that share button. It always helps out. Yep. There's a share button? Yeah. Yeah, there's a share button. Yeah. Nice. 